Here in the city, in less than two hours, Bethel Gospel Assembly will remember the victims. The prayer vigil is in Harlem. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell continues our team coverage. And Jesse, what does the church hope to accomplish tonight? Jessica, Maurice, incidents like these inevitably bring forth calls for unity in communities of color like Harlem. And that's what Mayor Adams hopes to do here tonight with church leadership. But another local faith leader says the, na the neighborhoods around this area need to be helping with the healing as this country is at its breaking point for division. Neighbors here in Harlem all want to know what possessed a young man to drive hours away from home to harm strangers in the name of hate. Some believe the glorification of violence online has lowered the value of a life. To me, personally, it's about parents and families. You know, then I take, I see kids out here two, three in the morning, 14 years old. Where is that? Where are the parents? And others feel praying after the lives are lost is too little, too late. We got churches all over the place. You know, we can't pray when things just happen. We have to pray before things happen. I can hardly breathe. How dare we send thoughts and prayers one more time to the families of dead people without doing something about it? And don't say we can't. Reverend Dr. Jackie Lewis was impassioned at the pulpit of Middle Collegiate Church Sunday. She says it will take a more tangible approach to stamp out the recent resurgence of white supremacy. Is it even possible at this point? No, I think so. If I didn't think so, I'd curl up in a ball and cry. There's really no place but up. And the way we're going to get up together is to know that that's the only place to go. Lewis believes we should be educating children in school about the beauty of all races before racism becomes ingrained. And we cannot act like the right to bear arms is more important than the right to live a life without being shot to death. But until policies change, prayers may be the only comfort. And tonight's vigil begins at 8 p.m. The doors open here at Bethel Gospel Assembly at 7 p.m., but the service is also streaming online. Live in Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. Jesse, thank you.